Hi everyone, Nathan here and today I'm launching a new series called TGG Weekly. Uh, I'm going to try and get one of these out every week on a Friday most of the time. I know it'll be a Sunday probably by the time this goes up, but it's all come about because I wanted to interact more with you guys and I had a few ideas on how to do that. I was going to do some Q&As or some you say I play kind of things, but this is what we've ended up with for now, although I am still perfectly happy to do those, so send me in your questions or tell me what games you want me to play and I will do them on the channel. Uh, the basic structure of the show is going to be that I'm going to look at your comments and respond to them. Then I'm going to talk about some games I've played in the week and give you my first impressions on them. And finally, we're going to wrap up with what's coming next week on the channel. So let's get straight into your comments. So the first comment this week comes from Mr. Potato on my COD Sniper Duel video. And he says, are you guys new to COD? Just asking, no hate. Now I have a bit of an excuse because it's the first time I've ever played a COD game on PC. I'm not saying I'm good at them on console, because I'm not, but that's my excuse anyway. Uh, as for Potato Gamer, he has no excuse whatsoever, so it sucks that he did even worse than me, so there you go. The second comment this week comes from BlahBlah86117 on my Football Manager 2016 first impressions video, and he says, two questions. I love playing FIFA and especially the behind the scenes in career mode. Would have bought FIFA Manager because it looked so cool. Is Football Manager similar to the FIFA career mode slash manager mode? And second question, why does the match look so shitty on every Football Manager? Greetings from Germany. To answer the first part of your question, Football Manager is a lot, lot more in depth than FIFA, but there is a strong chance that if you enjoy the wheeling and dealing of FIFA and the keeping players happy in the training and tactics side of things, then you probably will enjoy Football Manager, but be prepared to sink in like 50 or 60 hours of your life to even get through a couple of seasons in this thing. I mean, I've been playing it so far for about two weeks now since the beta came out, and I have sunk in 53 hours already. I probably should have been making videos in that time, but... It's a great game, I love it. As for the second part of the question, why does FM look so shitty in matches? I think it's because they concentrate a lot more on the database and the making things a bit more realistic to actually manage. I don't think it matters too much, I get very very into games and you can still tell when a player scores and that's basically all that matters. So there you go, Football Manager, great game, I would recommend it, but seriously, you said you're thinking of buying FIFA Manager. Don't do that shit, I got the latest one, it's terrible. I think it's. FIFA Manager 13 or something, they stopped making them because they were crap. So don't buy that. The next comment comes from Ray the Gaming Warrior on the Payday 2 co-op video with Fuser and Potato Gamer, who says, so fun to watch you guys play this, and that is how you get on this show. You just play to my ego, tell me how great I am, and you will get a comment on here no problem. But uh, no, seriously, thank you for that, that is fantastic. If you guys are enjoying the things I make, that is great. That gives me a reason to carry on doing this, although I love it anyway, so I would even if you didn't. But I'm glad people are enjoying it. And by the way, go and check out Ray the Gaming Warrior. He does some pretty cool stuff and he seems like a pretty nice guy. So go and have a look at his channel and uh, enjoy some of his videos too. The final comment this week comes from the Potato Gamer 100, who was my opponent in the COD Sniper Jewel video. And he says, I can't fucking believe it because I absolutely destroyed him. And no spoilers or anything here. But go and watch that video because the last 30 seconds or so are fucking awesome. And I had a great time playing against him. And to be honest, he is a lot better at me than COD, and I got a bit lucky, it has to be said. Anyway guys, that's it for the comment section this week, so let's move on to the games I played this week with my quick first impressions. So starting us off this week, it's got to be the big one, it's Fallout 4, and I've played quite a lot of it so far, and I've really been enjoying it, although it isn't necessarily everything I wanted it to be. It isn't a 10 out of 10 game for me. Uh, which Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 pretty much were. Uh, the main concern I have is that the main character is voiced, which makes him an actual character in the game, so you can't really play it as though it's you. Although I will say that any concerns anyone had about the world being too small and you could get across it in 11 minutes and all that stuff, complete bullshit. Okay, maybe you can get across the world in 11 minutes, but it doesn't matter. There are hundreds of fucking, there's loads of things to do. Just go out there and find missions, they're everywhere. The world is so densely packed that you will find stuff all over the map and it's just great. And so far I'm really enjoying the game, although I have experienced a couple of little performance issues and I know people are getting them, especially on console. I've been playing it on PC and I've noticed a couple of moments when my frame rate has just tanked completely for no good reason. One time I actually died because of it, which was pretty fucking annoying. 
But overall, the game runs okay-ish on a 970, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the game. I would give it at the moment maybe an 8 out of 10 if I was the kind of guy to do scores, but I'm not, so disregard that. The next game I've started playing this week is Blood Bowl 2, and I realise it's been out for a little while, but I've only just started playing it, and so far I'm really enjoying it. For anyone who hasn't played a Blood Bowl game before, it's basically American football mixed with fantasy and brutality. I'm pretty sure it's set in the Warhammer world, although I'm not an expert on that, but I'm loving it so far. Uh, there are a few little issues, like a match will take about an hour, which you really have to sit down and get into this game, although you can save and quit out of a match, so it's not that bad. The one thing that I would love is to have someone to play this against, because I'm playing it against a computer at the moment and it's pretty lonely and I can beat the computer most of the time, so I'd like a bit more of a challenge. But I really am enjoying the game, and if you like board games sort of things, games of chance, then you'll probably enjoy this, so go check it out, it's a pretty awesome game, I would recommend it. Now the final game I want to talk about this week is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now I'm not much of a COD fan to be honest, I'm more of a Battlefield kind of guy, but I've really been enjoying the multiplayer in Black Ops 3, uh, it's fast paced, it has a great movement system in my opinion, and it can really produce some awesome moments. That having been said though, I've played maybe 4 or 5 missions of the campaign, and have really not had fun so far. The first mission in particular is not great, it had a very long turret section, and a quick spoiler alert here, minor story spoiler because it's in the first mission, but a robot rips off both your arms and repeatedly punches you in the chest, and somehow you survive that. This robot has the strength to literally, literally rip off both your arms, but it punching you over and over again in the chest doesn't kill you, and I just don't buy it. So it completely took away my immersion straight away. Maybe they can explain it away by he's got some awesome armor on or something like that, but I just don't buy it. But still though, the multiplayer is damn cool, and I've had quite a lot of fun with zombies playing with my friends so far. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about about the games I've been playing this week, so let's move on to the final bit of the show, which is what is coming on the channel next week. So starting off, I want to do a video on Fallout 4. I'm not quite sure what yet. I kind of want to do a review, but I've played maybe 14 hours of this so far, and I'm not anywhere near far enough in to give a full review of the game. So I kind of feel like I need to play some more if I really want to do that. But I will do something, it'll probably be a commentary rather than a gameplay, but you can definitely expect to see something about Fallout 4 on the channel next week. And next up we got the Games I Never Finished video, which have quite a few games on the list. Uh, talking about all the games that I was never good enough to finish, or that I completely pussied out of, like Outlast, I genuinely just could not finish that game because it scared the shit out of me. I am a wimp. Uh, and there's other games where other things got in the way, like Mad Max where Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain came out on the same day and it's like, which one of these am I going to play? Is it going to be Metal Gear Solid? Sorry Mad Max, you're a great game, but I'll talk about that more in the actual video. Uh, I also have some COD Zombies co-op with Fuser and Potato Gamer coming up. A little bit of a spoiler alert on this one, we suck. But if you want to check out how bad we are before I get my video out, there's already a version of us playing Zombies up on Fuser's channel, so go and check that out, go over to his channel, and have a look at how bad we are before I sort out my video for it. And uh, last but not least, we've got some possibly a couple of live gameplay commentaries, uh, sort of let's play things if I get enough time and if I can find the right games to play. And if you have any suggestions for what I should play, then please leave them down in the comments. I am looking down there, I will pay attention, because I really can't find games that I want to do videos on that aren't big AAA titles, although I'll do those as well, no problem with that. But I would like to do some little games and really just have fun with it. Uh, but that's about it for the show, guys. That is pretty much all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this new style of show. I'm going to try and get one of these out every week. After all, it is called Weekly. And I'm going to try and get them out on a Friday, hopefully. I know this is probably going up on a Saturday or a Sunday. I don't know when I'll get this done. But yeah, I'll try and get this out on a Friday usually. And it'll be more about interaction with you guys, reading out your comments, getting your suggestions for what I should do on the channel, stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you more often and on the channel next week. So that's a terrible outro, but there you go. Thanks for watching. I've been Nathan and I'll see you next time.